welcome students in last class i have explained transporting tissues that is xylem and phloem and their main function in today's class i am going to explain water absorption by the roots means how root absorb water and minerals from soil so first we will see about the structure of root root it has a main root system that is also called as primary root when it branched it forms lateral root or secondary root when again that lateral roots branch it forms hair like structure that is called as root hair now a magnified view of this root hair we will see in the next diagram as we know the epidermis is present in root stem and leaves and this epidermis or epidermal layer it's a single layer which surrounds the leaves stem and root and provide protection when this epidermal layer extends it forms a protuberance or extension that is called as root hair this root hair has nucleus cytoplasm cell wall and cell membrane as it is a part of a plant cell so these two distinct structures will be present in a clear view now we will see the speciality of this root hair now the basic function of root hair is to provide large surface area for the maximum amount of absorption of water and minerals from soil this root hair contain a cell sac means fluid a highly concentrated fluid now the last one it has cell wall which is freely permeable and cell membrane which is selectively permeable freely permeable means it allows all the molecules to go inside the cell and cell membrane it restricts or it allows only selective substances to go inside the cell means it acts like a filter now the type of movements we can see in plants that is diffusion osmosis and active transport first we will discuss about diffusion diffusion is the process which helps the soil water and minerals move into the root hair cell by by a process that is diffusion it means this process helps in the water and minerals to move inside the root hair cell now the next is osmosis osmosis is the movement of higher sorry movement of molecules from higher concentration to lower concentration 
we can say that the concentration of water molecules is less in inside the root cell and higher in the soil then this cell membrane present inside the root cell it will act as a filter and it allows the water molecules to go inside the root cell then after entering here inside the root cell that water will diffuse in the complete cell that is diffusion then after that there will be movement of water molecule from one cell to another cell cell to cell movement through a membrane again there will be osmosis then once again diffusion process inside the cell then once again osmosis from one cell to another cell then last one active transport as we can say or we can see here that the water molecules is higher in the soil and lower inside the root cell so here movement of water molecules is from higher concentration to lower concentration so it doesn't require any type of energy but at the same time because of the presence of cell sap the minerals present inside the root cell is higher in concentration as compared to soil so here there will be movement of minerals from lower to higher concentration so it needs energy and this movement is called active transport now let's see movement of water molecules and minerals in a plant these minerals and water move inside the plant or move inside the each cell of a plant through these three movements that we have already explained now we will explain about the process that how this water molecule reaches to xylem parenchyma now here first is ascent of sap and root pressure means these two these two substance these two sorry these two process are responsible for the movement of water and minerals in plant after movement after absorption of water from soil to inside the root hair from surrounding soil by osmosis it then moves into the inner cell inner cells of root by cell to cell diffusion and osmosis and ultimately it reaches to the central region of root that is xylem or central xylem then it continues upward in stem and leaves this upward movement of water and minerals is called ascent of sap now the last one root pressure it is the pressure developed in the root due to continuous inflow of water because of cell to cell osmosis because of cell to cell osmosis a gradient is created or pressure is created for water for the inflow of water that pressure allows the water molecules from outside the soil to come inside the root cell 
as a result of this pressure water enters the xylem vessel and helps in pushing the plant sap sap that is the fluid which is present in every cell because of that pressure along with the water molecules that sap is sap means that minerals is pushed upward in the plant thus root pressure is one of the force which contributes to the ascent of sap through the stem into the leaves up to a certain height means this root pressure contributes or helps or assists this ascent of sap to push upward in the stem region and the other part of plant now today's homework first question explain different types of movements of molecules are seen in plants second question explain the semi permeable nature of the cell membrane third question explain the process of movement of water and minerals in a plant all these answers you will write down in your class work notebook thank you